have to rush into. Is that uh, what is air pollution? In general, air pollution is referred to the introduction of particulates of biological and man-made material into the atmosphere that poses a health effect on humans and animals, causing disease, death to humans, or any damage to other living organisms. Air pollution can derive from natural causes such as volcanic activity or from anthropogenic uh, impact, which derives from human activity. The atmosphere is composed of a com combust collection of uh, gases that are all essential to the support of life on Earth, which highlights the importance of reducing air pollution. Stratospheric ozone depletion is now officially recognized as a threat to human health as well as Earth's ecosystems. Indoor air pollution and urban air pollution are listed as the two most toxic pollution problems in the 2008 Blacksmith Institute report. Over 7 million people have died in air quality and pollution related problems according to WHO, World Health Organization, in a 2012 report. Um, a chemi it's a chemical compound with a um, formula SO2. It's produced by volcanoes and other industrial processes. Nitrogen ox oxides, um, it's expelled in high temperature com combustion. Carbon monoxide, yes, I can kill you. And it's colorless, odorless, toxic, and yet non-irritating gas, so you can't detect it. And Volatile comp organic compounds, VLCs, are well known outdoor air pollutants. So, and particulates, it's just bits, like volcanic parts. There are more pollutants, but we cut it off with the safety air sanity and include the native pollutants. Yes, sir. A review of ev evidence regarding whether emission or air pollution exposes the risk factor of cancer tells us some found solid data to conclude the long term exposure. And PM 2.5 increases the overall risk. Yeah. Just skip this. So, um, air pollution can cause cancer, lung cancer, and harm children. You should read more about the children. Is this fine? Just you need to know about the children. Fine. No, not the children. Okay. No, it's not the children. In the United States, despite the passengers passage of Clean Air Act in 1970 and 2002. At least 146, Americans, 146 million Americans were living in non-attachment areas, regions in which the concentration of certain pollutants exceeds the federal standards. These standards pollutants are known as the criteria of pollutants. Criteria of pollutants include ozone, particulate matter, sulfur, dioxide, nitrogen, dioxide. Ni nitrogen dioxide, carbon monoxide, and lead. Protective measures to ensure children's health are being taken in cities such as New Delhi, India, where buses now use compressed natural gas to help eliminate the PSU smog. A recent study in Europe has found that exposure to ultra-fine particles can increase blood children, uh, blood pressure in children. Which can cause them to explode. Okay. And our final conclusion, time, day, how do children bus? <laughs> Air pollution poses, poses a serious health threat and has an imminent effect on the pollution of pollu pollu population of Earth, including humans and animals. Humans would require drastic actions in the near future to save the next generation, no, not the children. From the harmful effects of poor air quality in a developing world, which continues to industrialize, so it is depending on us. By us, I mean our current generation to discover ways to efficiently manufacture. manufacture without leaving a large ecological footprint. So let us say, well, us and animals now off to save the world. <laughs>